Welcome to Coffee with Kalari. I am Kalari and I'm coming to you live from the Chicago Lighthouse Media Studios. So this week we are going to be talking about cooking, especially with Thanksgiving coming up right around the corner. I'm going to talk about my process and how I learned how to cook. Now, I did not know how to cook. I lived with my parents and as most people, I, my parent, my mama cooked, I ate. I really didn't have to really learn how to cook until I moved out. And I moved out, got my own apartment, and getting married, having kids, you know, family likes to eat. So you can't keep ordering out because it'd be quite expensive. So I told myself I have to get in this kitchen. So my process to learn how to cook, it, it came over time. Like I think with anyone, it will come over time. I had to first get over that initial fear of being burnt by the stove. And honestly, as a blind cooker, you know you're going to be burnt. You kind of just got to accept that and get over it. Right? <laughs> So once you get past that fear, cooking becomes quite easy. You learn your own techniques. I learned how to touch the meat really quick on the, with the tips of my finger, just to text the texture so you won't touch it really quick so you won't get burnt. I also use these, what they call UGG gloves. They're oven mitts that go all the way up your elbow. So as you're reaching in the stove, you won't burn yourself. And as a blind person, a lot of times, it's not as accurate as we would move it, you know, putting stuff in the stove and pulling it out. Sometimes you bump your arms on the side or on top. So these gloves protect from that. So for me, after I got past that fear, I got my protective gear in the kitchen. I just dove head first. I learned how to, well, I labeled all my seasonings. And I just learned how to just add little seasonings in, test out things. And of course, you know, that number one rule any meal you test out, you always test out on your kids or your family first, right before you bring it to uh, family gatherings. So it was a long, it was a little journey, learning how to get over that fear, learning what works, and then finally mastering different meals. And in the beginning, I just started off simple with baking chicken, just seasoning your chicken and putting it in the oven, or cooking spaghetti, which, I mean, at first glance, you think it's easy, but I mean, if you don't cook that pasta just right, <laughs> things can get a little out of hand. Um, as I progressed in my cooking journey, I started looking at more YouTube videos. A lot of YouTube videos are very descriptive. They're great for people that's blind or visually impaired. They kind of tell you step by step what they're doing. So I started to kind of model those YouTube videos. Another uh, channel I love to get on is Six Sisters. They have great descriptive recipes on there. So I follow that step by step. Now, in addition to learning how to cook, I also got on my healthy kick, which I've talked about in previous YouTube videos. So I learned how to start cooking healthy. I joined Weight Watchers and they have this great app that's very accessible with people uh, using the iPhone and voiceover. So they have detailed recipes that tell you step by step how to uh, do your recipe, or how to get to your healthy meal. So I found those apps to be very helpful. Um, and also, in addition to having your measuring spoons labeled, I have mine labeled in Braille. I also have all my measuring cups labeled in Braille. And I'm looking forward to getting a talking cooking scale. In fact, that we sell right here at the Lighthouse. And this is key for anybody who's trying to lose weight. Having exact sizes and appropriate portions is the way to go. So I just say all of that to say, if you're just starting off cooking, keep with it. It is a process and I'm still learning. By no way, I'm a great cook. I still feel my mother's cooking is way better than mine. <laughs> but um, it's a process. First, learn how to get over those fears of being burnt because it's going to happen. But as long as we have techniques that minimize little burns or you have your different protective gear, it will not be a big fear. And once you get past that fear, cooking is just an open, wide field. So that was my journey on learning how to cook. So as always, I want to hear your story. How did you get over that fear of cooking, fear of getting burnt, or even fear that your food might taste bad? <laughs> um, let me know. I want to hear your stories. I want to hear your experiences. Um, let's learn from each other. I hope you enjoyed this week's topic and I hope to see you next week.